How Reuters Turned Donald Trump Into a Terrorist Lover Reuters Headline Israel White House Condemns Shameful Trump-Hamas Remarks Reporting done by Reuters reporter Ryan Chang Let's listen in. As the war between Israel and Hamas militants continues, Israel's government and the White House are condemning comments by former U.S. President Donald Trump over the crisis. That includes criticism of Trump's once close ally, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, saying the leader wasn't prepared to handle the Hamas massacres in Israel. Just remember how much safer the world was under the Trump administration. And Trump praised Lebanon's Hezbollah group, which has since attacked Israel from the north. You know, Hezbollah is very smart. They're all very smart. The press doesn't like when they say it. Hezbollah is backed by Israel's arch enemy, Iran. So obviously, Reuters reporter Ryan Chang should be ashamed of himself. Not only did he take Donald Trump out of context, he lied about the meaning of Trump's words, obviously saying that Iranian-backed Hezbollah did something smart is not praise, and it doesn't mean Donald Trump supports their terrorist activities. How could he? He ordered the killing of Iran's top general in Iraq several years ago, and yet they're going to make Trump like an ally of Hezbollah? The other thing that's shameful that Reuters did is they knew Ryan Chang took Trump's words out of context. They had no interest in playing the entire segment for whatever Trump was talking about. Did you notice they didn't even let Trump finish his sentence about Hezbollah? Listen to it again. And Trump praised Lebanon's Hezbollah group, which has since attacked Israel from the north. You know, Hezbollah is very smart. They're all very smart. The press doesn't like when they say it. Hezbollah is backed by Israel's arch enemy, Iran. This is the disgraceful state that journalism is in 2023. We're facing World War III. A very dangerous war has kicked off, and... The staff at Reuters and the Democratic National Committee sat around this week trying to think up a way they could make Donald Trump a terrorist supporter and terrorist lover. These are the priorities at Reuters. But what sort of people are these that sit around and think of stuff like this? While Hamas is killing babies, someone actually sits in their office and says, how can we tie that to Donald Trump? How did Ryan Chang, Reuters reporter, put this story together, thinking in his head, this will help depress Donald Trump's approval ratings by a few points, so that the political party that myself and Reuters support, the Democratic Party, will do better in the next election? Who thinks this way? They've done this to Donald Trump every day that he was president, and now as a private citizen, they will take a one-hour-long speech by Donald Trump and take something out of context to make him seem like something he didn't say. This is monstrous. Reporter Ryan Chang, you should be ashamed of yourself. I gotta tell you folks, if you believe reporting like this, then America deserves the bad leadership they end up with. And it's why we have bad leadership in the form of Joe Biden. Because there's enough stupid people in the American electorate who believe it when a reporter lies to them and gleefully lies to them about Donald Trump. If Reuters will lie about Donald Trump in this manner by selectively editing his speech to the point where he can't even finish a sentence. You know, Hezbollah is very smart. They're all very smart. The press doesn't like when they say it. Hezbollah is back. You have to wonder, what else is Reuters lying about? What information are they withholding on the Ukraine war? What other wars did they lie about? If they'll take a six-day-old war between Israel and Hamas and use that to attack the Republican frontrunner for the presidency of the United States, what else is Reuters, a formerly respected news outlet, willing to lie to you about? If they'll lie about this, they'll lie about anything else you see during the progress of this horrid war. Thank you.